Hello everyone. I've got the uh, TKO cell. It's going in the 1987 GMC. I've got it hooked up to uh, hooked up the power right now. It has been running for about an hour, right at 29.2 amps, 13.2 uh, volts. What I wanted to show you is how much output this thing has. It is just crazy the amount of bubbles that are coming off of this right now. Very violent reaction. Just crazy. I'm holding this camera back about three feet and it's splashing up on the camera. That is definitely going to make a difference in the 1987 GMC pickup. I'm going to hook this up to the tester and see what kind of output we're getting. Hold on one minute while I do that. Okay, ready to set this thing up. Got my stopwatch here. We are just about up to 31 amps. And I'm going to start this right now. This one over 31 amps. This one over 30 seconds. There. Looks like we're about 850 milliliters a second. It did seem like it was a lot more. Um, the cell is running fairly cold. I'd say. Uh, probably about 85 degrees from my experience about 85 degrees 90 right in there so it, it has a lot of heating up to do it'll probably heat up to about 140 degrees and at 140 degrees I'm sure we'll be able to get the 1.1 1 .1 to 1 1.3 that we're getting with the first TKO cell I put my knee on. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you the production of that and how violent the uh, reaction that is on those bubbles.